hey everyone welcome back to our excel series so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use format as table in excel so in our previous video i have shown you and we have created table and we had applied some functionality on table also and in this video we'll see how we can create tables faster and how we can format the table in different designs so let's go so as you remember in our last video we have used and created this table for our example right and we will do the same we'll use this data only in our this video so the first thing is that why do we have to format our table it depends upon users readability if this data set currently which i'm showing you right now is readable to you with this format it's good enough or if you want to change it then how can you change this header color and how can you change this color for alternate rows you won't be going to do it manually one by one right otherwise it will take you a whole lot of time so if you have records more than 10,000 or 15,000 then it will be very tough for you to go one by one and do it right so we already have a functionality in our excel to change the format of table so what you need to do is that you can click anywhere within this table or you can select this entire table range then go to format as table and you can select whatever design you want to apply on your table it totally depends upon you and your requirement how do you want to do it so for an instance if i would i would like to uh, design a table that might be either black and white or something gray and white right you can also choose from this dark colors so if for example if i'm click, uh, clicking on this dark color you'll see this entire thing has changed right so i don't have to go one by one and manually change the format design format of this table now the another thing so i'll keep this format as it is now suppose if you want to change the format based on your color requirement you want this color to be something else not as a black or deep red or something else so how you can do it again you have to go to format as table then you have to click on new table style then you get a whole lot of options if you want to redesign the entire table this from this whole table or you want to put the first column strip as some other colors the second column strip as some other colors the first row strip the second row strip so when i say first column strip this means column b column d is the second column strip when i say first row strip then first row strip is the first column which comes after your header so in the in our case in this data set row number one is our header so the first row strip is row number two the second row strip is again row number three now when you apply a design on first row strip it will be applied on row number two then row number four then row number six then row number eight because in table design you will see that there are first row and second row so first and second alternative rows so i'll just show you so this is your first row and this is the alternate row right then this one come this one behaves as the first then this one behaves as alternate same thing goes with column also so we'll again go and go to more table design or style and we'll select new table style i'll take header row and then i'll click on format to format it to, to format it based on my requirement so color i'll need to choose i'll select red okay it will show you the preview i want it to be bold i want the size to be something else i'll select it but let's go to border i don't want any border but uh, for example i'll select this one this then this outline or inside i'll select outline and within outline i'll select this one and oh, sorry okay then this one so that each cell will be bordered and in fill 
I'll say, okay so in font I have selected red right no I know I want this I want my background color to be red so uh, I'll keep it red right now to show you I'll select the background color as red deep red and my font should be white white and bold I'll select okay and click on okay now before I click on okay I just want to tell you that you can see the preview here it will look like this currently our table is black and white black is the background as a header and white is the font color now if I select this one this small box which says set as a default table style for this document so whenever you create a new table it will take this design which you have created right now as your default but I won't be I won't be doing it right now so I'll click OK right so you will have your own new design which you need to apply here now okay which is in custom so I'll click this one so now the thing is that remember when I selected borders I selected I was only designing this header not the entire row that's why you see the borders are coming up for this header only not this row so please don't get confused with that now the another thing which I wanted to show you in this video was that uh, how you can create table more efficiently right so select I'm so suppose I'm selecting this data only right the another functionality of format as table thing so I have just selected this data and I want to convert it into table so how I can do that so I just need to select this entire data and then I need to format it as table so if you click on format as table you will get this option you select anything and your table will be created which I have already shown you in our previous video but as we are as I'm showing you how to design the table while creating your table you can design it so for example I need to create this data set as a table and I want to design it then once I select a design it will automatically create it as a table right it will change it as a table so while you are creating a table if you select the design it will be easier for you it will be more faster for you that you have selected the design as well as your table has been created okay so this was the end of this video I would request you all to let us know if you get confused somewhere or if you have some question regarding tables okay see you in the next video hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button